Hey everybody, I'm going to go through with you how to use the iMovie uh, iPhone app. Okay, so first we're going to go and click on the iMovie icon. Um, so the little iMovie thing pops up here and what you're going to want to hit on is the uh, if you've never had a movie uh, before you won't see the little box here so you just want to hit the plus and you're going to do new project and at that point you're going to they're going to see a couple things uh click uh tap to insert new media or uh tap to record you you're going to want to tap to insert new media cuz um I am uh we're going on the assumption that you already have media that you've you've recorded so um what you're basically going to do from this point is you're going to have a a list of all your video clips that you shot and you get to go through and um pick which video clips you want and if you lose track and you get clicked on a different icon you got a video icon you can add photos if you want or you can also add audio which we'll talk a little bit more about um, you can add audio as well some you know um, uh, audio from your iTunes library um, but for right now we're gonna go uh, and grab video that you've already shot um, this is assuming uh, that you have video shot uh, that you that you have in your uh, your camera roll already so anyway you have a bunch of videos here and you get to go in and just pick which video um, you want to add to your project um, I got some video clips that I have from uh, uh, Jumpin Country that I just did for an example so I'm just gonna go in and um, once you have added a clip and you want to get back to your other library you're gonna go and hit that icon let's see I'll go back to there in case you, you missed it we're gonna go and hit this icon over here. It's a little, it looks like a little film strip to get back to our, our library. All right, so once we're in there, you're gonna see that the video clip that I already added has this yellow bar underneath it. That lets you know that you've already added that clip to your timeline. So I'm gonna go find uh, another clip that I've added. Let's see, maybe I want something with some color. This is uh, just a, a park where uh, you can take your kid and they jump around and um, bounce houses and stuff. So I'll just do a quickie little video to kind of show you how that's done. So okay, now I've added a number of clips to my timeline. Um, now I, you, you'll notice that I'm holding my phone uh, and horizontally. You can also, if, if it's more comfortable to, to you, you can also hold it. Um, you can hold it. Uh, I'm trying to get focused here. You can you can hold it vertically too. So um, now another thing is to you'll see you have all your clips that you that you want in your timeline down below. Um, and a good thing to know um, is if you want to expand or compress your timeline, you can take both of your your thumbs and drag them in and out, and you can see. Oh, sorry about the glare. You can see that the timeline is shrinking and growing. Okay, so I got my clips. Uh, I got the movie. Let's see how it looks. I... Okay, so um, it looks like I have the same clip in twice. So this is a good a good thing to know how to do. Um, I got the guy walking in. You can see I got the guy walking in there, and I got the guy walking in on this clip too. Now, to delete a clip, I'm going to um, shrink my timeline just a little bit so I can see the, the entire clip there. Okay, so I want to delete that clip. If you want to delete a clip, you just double click on it, and a dialog box opens up, and you just simply hit delete clip. Now, another good thing to know is if you delete a clip and you accidentally uh, deleted it, I'll, I'll turn this uh, horizontally now. Um, the the last thing that you did you can undo it by shaking your phone and you get a little dialog box that says undo so i'll undo that and I, that clips back but i really actually don't want that clip so i'm going to double click on it yeah i'm going to delete it all right you have a couple different ways of uh editing clips let's uh use our two thumb method here and and, and expand expand our timeline just a little bit um you have a couple different ways uh, let's let's look at this clip here.
Okay, let's say I want to just to kind of, I, I, I want, I want just when that girl gets out of the, uh, the bounce house. And I want to stop there. Okay, so now what you have the, op the uh, option of doing, you can do it a couple different ways. Um, you can take the clip, touch it, highlight it, get your yellow edit bars, and then just, let's do that, and slide that over. And you can kind of watch when she leaves the frame and then stop there, and that's where the clip will end. Now, let's say you are looking at a clip and you want to... Um, you know, you want to take out something in the middle of a clip. Um, let's say I want to take out the part uh, where maybe this lady is picking this kid up and setting her down. Um, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but it's just a good example to show you. So you double click on the clip. Now this can be a little tricky and take some practice, but you're going to want to cut right down the middle of this clip. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put a little slice in the frame and how you do that is you just take your finger I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I don't want to, I don't want to see the kid getting picked up by the lady so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut right here you put your playhead where you want it and what what happened there is when I sliced my finger down when I swiped it straight down it put a little cut there and you can see with this little icon that it's cut there so I wanna get rid and do maybe do another I don't want to see her setting the kid down maybe just after okay she's got the kid set down and now I'm going to do just another slight swipe see it takes a little bit of practice okay so I did put another cut there and again it's just a quick swipe now to delete a clip you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna delete it okay so that's another way that you can uh, you can edit out the center of a clip um, by using a splice all right so I got my, my clips here, uh, no particular order, and you can tell how long your video is um, because down here it says the time. Now, let's say you know, you've know you done a story and you just have some clips and no interview, you want to do a voiceover. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the, vo the phone uh, vertically because it seems a lot of people are accustomed to holding it that way. So um, at the very top middle is a little icon here, it's kind of hard to see on here, but it is a microphone. This is going to be able to enable you to record uh, a voiceover, um, so you can uh, you can you know play the video and just talk about what people are looking at. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna, and the voiceover is going to start wherever your playhead is, and the playhead is that red line. And you can move that around after you did it, so that's it's no big deal if you don't have it quite in the right spot. You're gonna I'm gonna hit this microphone. Now it's ready to go. So I'm gonna uh, hit record. You're gonna hit the record button. And it counts down, and then it lets you uh, start talking. So, um, this is Jumpin' Country. Uh, it is a bounce house company in Grafton. Uh, they have all kinds of um, bounce houses and waiting areas for parents. Uh, okay, so you get the picture. And then when you're done doing your voiceover, you can hit stop. Um, and then it gives you the option, do you want to accept it? And we are going to accept it. Okay, so now... When I play, it lets you uh, start talking. So, um, this is Jumpin' Country. Uh, it is a bounce house company in Okay, a couple things. First of all, um, we are going to, we are going to, at the beginning of my voiceover, you can hear me talking a little bit. So let's cut that off. Okay, so I, I don't want that part in there. So I'm going to highlight that clip by, by touching on it. And then you're going to just take your your finger and slide it over to the part that you want to start talking. So let's see what that sounds like. Um, this is Jumping Country. Is a okay, so that's good. It's, it starts off well with, the, um, you know, um, but I can cut that off later. Um, but this is Jumping Country. So I just clicked on that, that little yellow dot and slid it over and edited it. Now, another thing you'll notice is you're not going to be able to hear me talking because the audio is so loud. And, uh, the voiceover uh, is overpowered by the natural sound of the place. So in order to adjust the audio clips um, in the video, you, you highlight the video just kind of like we did with the audio clips. You click on it so you get that ye little yellow line around it. Double click on it and you can turn the volume down. 
So we'll see how that sounds. So you hit done when you're you're done with that. And play it. So, um, this is Jumpin' Country. Uh, it is a bounce house company in Grafton. Uh, they have all kinds of. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so the, the next audio clip's a little loud, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to double click on it, turn the volume down. Maybe not all the way, because you don't want all of your natural sound to be completely gone. Um, so, I'm going to turn that down. All right, so I got it how I want it. Really fun place. Um, they have all kinds of uh, different variety of bounce houses. And then you don't have to talk through the entire day. So I'm going to cut off the part where I say you don't have to talk. And then you don't have to talk through the entire day. Uh, I'll, I'll end it at that point. So I'll take my audio and slide it over to where I start. different variety of bounce houses okay okay so I got my video I'm happy with it um, you got your voiceover and now you are going to uh, go back you're gonna there's a couple different icons and I'm gonna hit the the one on the top left which is gonna take me to my original movie here I'll go back to that so I'll go and I'll hit the one to the top left here and that'll take me back to my original movie and then you're going to send that to your camera roll and you're always going to do it the highest resolution which is 720p and depending how long your movie is um, this can take anywhere from a couple minutes to five minutes or ten minutes if it's really long so um, and then once it is done exporting, it'll be in your camera roll, and that will enable you to upload it to Brightcove. Thanks.